Let's see what you guys can do with solving this inequality. If I say 2x plus 13 is less than or equal to 45. I said to solve inequalities, we're pretty much going to be solving them just like equations, unless we happen to be dividing by or multiplying by a negative number. So how do I go about solving this inequality? Subtract 13 on both sides, right? Now, does that change the direction of my inequality? No. I'm not multiplying or dividing. So I have 2x is still less than or equal to what? 32. How do you finish getting x by itself? Divide by the coefficient of 2. And it wouldn't change because it's not negative. Am I dividing by a negative? No. Nope. I'm dividing by a positive 2, so everything is... Everything's cool. So it's still going to be pointing in this direction. X is less than or equal to what? 16. 16. Okay. Now let's look at the graph of this guy. If I were to graph the solution set here, here is 16. What kind of circle do I have at 16? Closed. What tells me that this is closed? Because it's equal to less than because it is equal to. And being equal to means I get to include it. Okay. Now, it says x is less than. So which way is less than? Going out to the left. Now, if I'm doing interval notation, just like I told you before, it's from left to right. What's the furthest left I am on my graph? Negative x. Furthest left I am is negative infinity. Okay. So I'm coming from negative infinity, and I'm going to 16, 16. Now, what do I put around infinity? Parenthesis and then bracket on 16. Right. Because and here's... It's continuous. The parentheses. Right. I, the 16, I can get as close as I want to to 16, and I get to include it, so it's a bracket. However, going out towards negative infinity, you don't ever get to stop or include that guy. It's just a concept of the unboundedness part. Um, oh, I had something and I just lost it. Oh, the only time you're ever going to see a bracket is when you have a closed endpoint. That's the only time you'll have a bracket. The only time. Use parentheses everywhere unless you have an included point. Now, remember, this is a closed circle because 16 is included in the solution set, right? Which is why I'm using a bracket. Right? If I were using an open circle, I'd be using what? Yes. Parentheses. <laughs> right? For example, If I have negative 5x is less than 40, how would I go about getting x by itself in this problem? Divide both sides by negative 5. And if you go back and look at the statement that I just talked to you about, if you multiply or divide by a negative, what's going to happen? Change the sign, direction. The direction flips around. So that means for me that even though I get just a plain positive x over here, what happens? It becomes greater than what? Negative eight. Negative eight. So whenever you divide by a negative, it turns around? Anytime you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, the inequality symbol will flip. Now, if I graph this guy, what does this graph look like? What's the only number I care about on this? Negative And why is that again? I'm sorry. If you divide, it, you flip the sides. Mm-hmm. Well, why is that again? Sign well, you, you'll, you'll see what happens when we check our, our work on this. Let me show you. Uh, what kind of circle do I have at negative eight? Open. Open. Which way do I graph? Going out to the right, you must say, wait, but the original inequality was less than. Yes, but watch this. Pick a, pick a number over here that's greater than negative 8. Negative 7. 
5? It's going towards 0. Yeah, it's, it, or past 0, right? Okay. So let's plug in 5. What's negative 5 times 5? Negative 25. Is negative 25 less than 40? Yeah. Yes. Is that just if it's a negative answer, then you flip the sign? Or Not if it's a negative answer. It's what you're dividing by. You're dividing by negative 5. If I pick something over here like negative 7, negative 5 times negative 7 is positive 35. Is positive 35 less than 40? Yes. Yes. So if I had not changed the direction of inequality, nothing would have worked. Okay. Um, another way, well, I don't, I don't want to get into that right now. Just don't, don't talk. If I do the interval notation, this from negative 8 to what? To infinity. Why do I not have a bracket? Because it's not closed off. Because I'm not including anything there. Right. Let's try this one. 4x minus 7 is less than 2x minus 25. What would you do to solve this guy for x? How do you get the variables on one side? What's going to be your choice here? Subtract what? I'm going to subtract 2x. That's, that's what I would do. Okay. So if I move the x's to the left, which way do I move my constants? So we're going to add 7 to both sides. Okay. So what does my inequality look like now? And notice all you do is use the addition property so no inequality symbols get flipped. 2x is less than negative 18, right? How do you solve that one? Does my inequality symbol change directions? Yes or no? No. But I've got a negative. Yeah, but you're not dividing by negative. I'm not dividing by the negative, am I? No. See, it doesn't matter what this number is right here. What am I dividing by? A positive. A positive. So that doesn't inflict that, that, you know, that rule doesn't come up. Or we've got to change the direction of inequality. So it stays as x is less than what? Negative x is less than negative 9. So what does my graph look like? Negative 9, open circle, which way do I shade? Your solutions are less than, so they're going out to the left. How do you go from that to interval notation? Negative. 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 Parentheses. Negative. Well, what's it? Someone Infinity. Ne negative infinity. Right. Negative nine. Close parentheses. Exactly. When would a bracket have shown up? If it was a positive. Nope. Right. Closer, closer. A bracket shows, shows up if it's equal to. Look at the last oh. ones we did right here. These guys were both greater than. They were both positive numbers. Greater than stayed open. The or equal to meant closed. And the same thing would be true if I'm talking about less than and then less than or equal to. So basically greater than is like a, a stopping point that you're beginning from. Right. right. The, the greater than means you can get as. Or close. Uh, well, let's go right here. X is less than negative 9. You can get as close to negative 9 on the left as you want to as long as you don't what? As long as you don't touch it. Right? Remember that as a, as a child, you would hit your sibling in the back seat and your parents would yell, stop touching each other, just leave each other alone. And so what would you do? You'd wave your finger in their face and say, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. <laughs> Getting as close as possible, right, but not equal to, right? Because as soon as you were equal to, bang, right? Then you start fighting again, and the dad has to pull the car over, and then...